and what's going on YouTube this is your boy Joe Fontaine the VIP sound lab and I have some questions as far as using machine as an effects unit and yeah that's no problem actually you can use machine as an effects unit now we all know DAWs today they have a ton of plugins a ton of effects built right in it but hey there's users who use machine machine has certain plugins and effects that other DAWs don't have and you might like that certain plugin that's inside machine that you just cannot get anywhere else so let's go and take a look I have a audio file here as you can see right here and I transpose it up just a little bit just so we can uh, get it going here on the video <laughs> All right, so let's say if I want to get some effects on that using some of Native Instruments Machines uh, effects on that. So here's the audio file. So what we'll do, here's the audio track. Now, you see right here where it says Native Instruments, these are some of my plugins that I scanned inside of Ableton Live. Those who do not know how to get your VSTs inside of Ableton Live, there is a folder inside of Ableton Live that says Resources. In that Resource folder, you want to create, right-click, and create a folder that says VST. You put your VSTs in that folder. You go over here under Options, Preferences, where it says, see if I can find it here. Right here on the File folder. Use VST Plugin Custom Folder. You see the path right here, VST Plugin Custom Folder. You see the path, C Programs, 86 Ableton Live. I'm inside the Ableton Live Program, Resources, then I create a folder right here that says VST. You press rescan. It scans your VSTs into your Ableton Live program. And it's as easy as that. Okay. So once you do that, they'll show up over here. As you can see right here, it's saying waves and stuff like that. All right. So to get the effect, you can use the machine plugin here, or you can use this one that says machine effects. Um, I tried them both. It really doesn't make a difference. I, I just use the machine effects one. So I drag that here. Okay. Now, once the machine um, plugin actually comes up, let's go ahead and uh, bring this over here like this. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that you can do with this because this is just open blank and it's just showing basically my computer whatever I can switch that over it doesn't make a difference okay bring this over here like this now you notice when I play the audio file no sound is coming out it's absolutely blank because once we load in the machine effects plugin it's 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 now serving a different purpose this audio is now being routed completely different than, than it was before so you're probably wondering what happened to my audio how do I get it to come in okay so what you need to do as you go down here to sound one, let's label this uh, Ableton effects unit. We'll just label label it Ableton effects unit. And group A, we'll name this Ableton. You know, in case whatever you're doing, you know what's going on. Let me go over here, switch it to an input. All right, so now we're on the input. Now you notice it says it's internal right here, but if you press play, you still don't hear anything. You see? Still quiet. So now you're really pulling your hairs out. You're like, man, what the heck's going on? This thing is not working right. Don't worry, it is. I got you. So what you need to do is go right here where it says internal and use EXT in one because Ableton Live is the external program that the audio is going to be routed inside a machine. Okay. And then the audio is going to come back out and I'm going to show you some tricks with this too. I'm going to show you some cool tricks you can do with this too. Now, when I press play, We got that. We got that going in. So to get the effects, let's just stick with one scene for right now. Of course, you can set it how you want to set. It. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks with this. Let's say if we wanted to add. Hmm, 
just used a new tape and tube saturator. That's one of the new ones. Set it on tube mode. And let's play around with this for a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so that's with it. You notice the big difference in that. If I turn this off or mute it. So you can tell it's not being affected, whereas with it. We're now getting a total different effect using machine itself now there are other tricks that are available uh using this method and i want to show you that also uh, if i was to turn on my paint icon here now in machine we have the add modulator section here so let's say for example and the way i have this mic set up you see right here my audio is just on the the uh the left channel so i'm not sure if the way you're hearing it, I'm coming out of one speaker or two. I'm pretty sure I should be coming out of two still, but I needed to have it set on one and two. So I'm recording a video. Hope, hopefully you can hear the pan effect I'm trying to do right now. If not, I apologize for that, but it will be panning or it will pan on what you're doing at home. So if we go over here to mixer and we go to pan, okay, and now I paint in. Let's see, where am I at here? Let's go down, then we'll go up a little bit, we'll go down, we'll go up here, we'll go down a little bit like this. All right, so now it should pan between both speakers. I'm getting a little stuck here. All right. <laughs> So I hope you can hear that because what it's doing is it's panning back and forth through speakers just using the machine. And you can do other things as far as, you know, your levels. Um, you know, if you have certain swing grooves you want to apply and, and things of that nature, you can, you can also can do that. So I thought that was a pretty cool little trick. I figured I'd go ahead and I mention that and show that. And you also can, you know, let me take this off. We can do other things. Let's let's do another one. Let's do... um. Now, this is probably going to sound crazy <laughs> with just a big audio file. But again, this is just for demo, just showing the potential that you can use the, or rather the potential of how you can use machine as an effects uh, unit. <laughs> So it gives it like that kind of echoey kind of effect. Or let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do um hmm. Let's phase it. Let's bug out with that phaser a little bit. <laughs>
So that's pretty cool. So now if we want to play around with that a little bit, let's say let's try the macro control to the speed on that and the amount and the mix. Let's go ahead and do those. Speed. Mount. And mix. So let's mix this in. Let's mix this in. All. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bug out. I don't know how this is gonna sound yet. I'm just doing this by ear. So this might sound. I don't know. Really, I don't know how this is gonna sound. I'm just I'm just doing this like by the seat of my pants. But I'm just showing you how you can paint in you know, effects, but I have this looped so short up here that it might not get a good effect, but you know, I'm just giving you an idea. Of course, you know, at home, you're going to be able to kill that. You're going to be like, I see exactly what you mean. So you'll see where I'm, where I'm going with that and understand that, um, a lot better. So let, let's see how this sounds. <laughs> See what I mean? So you get some bugged out, man. Bugged out crazy effects. So, you know, the sky's the limit when it comes to machine. We all know that. So I thought it was just kind of fun to be able to use machine to to paint in effects, get some weird effects. You know, if you're if you're into sound design and you're doing, you know, transitions or risers and stuff like that, that's a perfect way to get like some really crazy bugged out effects or for movies and stuff like that when you want to get like laser beam effects and and, 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 and and crazy stuff like that like I'm not even sure but I think even by me just even talking on the mic I think it even um I'm not sure let me see I never I don't ever try that let me see yo check 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 well I thought it would I guess it won't I thought by maybe me just talking on the mic it might do it too since my mic is coming through live but I guess it doesn't check, check, check. Well, it doesn't. I thought it would. But I was like, that'd be a cool effect for a mic. But it might. You know, you might want to experiment with that. Maybe if you bring your microphone in, maybe you guys can, can figure it out. If anybody figures that out, let me know. I think that'd be cool if we can use the effects uh, on the mic like that. That'd be real dope. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how you use Machine 1.8 as an effects unit inside Ableton Live. The same principles apply to any DAW whether it's Logic, you know, Pro Tools, you know, other programs that are out there, Cubase and stuff like that, the Cubase users, you know, Sonar X1, X2 users, you know, everybody. So that's pretty much it on this one. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.